Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Grandpa Bill Grunts and Groans podcast. And this is actually Tuesday morning at about 11.35. This is actually kind of a follow-up on the live taping of my blog talk radio show that I did yesterday, the 15th. And in that show, I was fortunate enough to talk not only to Trina, a long-standing friend and business constituent and represented her products for years and used her products for years and so forth. And it's the first time in a really long time that I've had the opportunity to talk with her again personally. And as you heard in the show, if you've had the opportunity to listen in, we go way back. And she was very gracious to give, and they're, they're heartfelt. That's what impressed me the most. I know Trina. If she didn't feel that way, she would also tell us that. So I was very pleased towards the end of the said interview. And please do listen to that. I'm going to talk about a little bit more about the dental products that we both talked about um, in the show. But this is also for the benefit of my three other respective supplying vendors on the merchandise that was also mentioned at the end of the show that Trina was so gracious enough to take around the block and look at what's up and what they are and, you know, use them to the extent that she could because she just barely got them uh, with the mailings and so forth and our quick coordination of coming on the show and coordinating her sale. And the products are still available, by the way, on uh, adasanimalproducts.com. All of these products to include Trina's through the direct affiliate link and my products are on sale till the end of April, and that's what I wanted to talk about all of these, too. Now, obviously, down in the bowels of my warehouse, the sales, kennel kelp, you guys have been down here before, and I'm actually sitting on my most favorite thing. My posterior is getting as healthy as it will ever, because through osmosis, it's dry. <laughs> it's my crazy sense of humor. I'm sitting on tourmaline water, a pallet of. Okay. Tourmaline, Trina in the show, was very nice. And believe me, when I tell you it's hot felt, because if she thought it was poison, or, oh, my God, Bill, why'd you send me that or what? She, she, she would have said that. So, Tourmaline, I think you guys are catching up. That may not be familiar. I want to do this halfway quickly, because my camera is on slow motion for you guys, and I know you're seeing it in reverse. So, I may just make this an audio. We'll get there on all these graphics and so forth. So, thank you. That's the CTFO, which you guys, you know, if you've had the opportunity to do so, or when you have the opportunity to do so, that Trina also gave a really nice accolade to. And, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. She's really a big, busy woman, not big physical sense of the word, as in the company stature and the gender and what have you. It'll take a while, but I don't think she rules anything in, and she doesn't rule anything out, and we talked about that, and we've had that business relationship forever, but with that kind of accolade, trust me, that's heartfelt, and that comes from somebody that is indeed an expert in the business, so that's a huge shot in the arm. Thank you for that, and I'll keep everybody advised on where that may or may not go with Trina and I moving down the road and all of that. And Trina and I have talked a little bit behind the scenes, so, you know, these things take time, but that was awesome. She loves the water. I You've heard her speak. We'll be talking about the water again in appreciation of her schedule. I'm shocked she came on my show. I mean, I knew that she would, and I, I know it's heartfelt and all that. I don't mean it that way. I'm Anyway, just... If you don't somehow know Trina yet, understand, I have no idea who she talked to next yesterday, and it was none of my business, but I'm sure it was a contingent from maybe a major network or a podcast or whatever. Do her bio if you're not familiar, and I think I recanted it in the show, and I'm sure I put it in the description. Her success story alone is just something to admire, and I do. (laughs) So I'm reaching all over the board, and I'm trying to catch up because I've got all these complex programs going on and selected audiences, all good, all very good. (coughs) Pardon me, but 
those of you that are catching up on, you know, this semi-retirement thing and semi-debilitated and all that crazy stuff, this is the way that I'm going to have to market all of this stuff, and I love it. I love it, and I'll go to my grave marketing all this stuff. It's not a matter of that, and I've talked about all of that. So my show, my blog, my three websites, and my dedicated uh, CTFO website is the way I'm going because it's a matter of necessitation, and that's not being defiant. It's not being anything. It's just being real. Okay, this is named Blueberry Powder. I talked about that. That's from my friend Teresa Gaffney up at Highland Organics right here in Maine. And that's part of my main cross-promotion program, which also plays into the Tourmaline Water, um, obviously, two great main companies, and maybe BA Sales. I should go great. <laughs> but I want to show you another product quickly in products, which is another uh, company that Seth and his family, Seth Brzezinski, started years ago, his brother Davey and fa the family members and so forth, Living Nuts. I would love to have him incorporate it, talking about that when he comes on the show because that plays into the programs that I've been talking about with Ada's Healthy Nutritious uh, Lunchbox of how potentially in an ideal world somewhere a bottle of tourmaline water, something that's as good and nutritious as a product like this. And I talked a lot about Mike Adams and the clean foods and so forth. And with Trina's dental care being the gateway to the mouth, which she expounded upon, and how we take in all these germs, and how just about everybody is starting to realize how bad tap water is. And in a very bad way, and at the expense of a lot of people and what have you and all of that. I certainly don't mean this in the wrong way. Flint, Michigan, I think now finally, just for one tiny, well, it wasn't a tiny example, but the example in the overall spectrum. And, um, yeah, we'll talk much more about all of that when Seth does get the opportunity to come on the show. So that's kind of towards Seth when he gets an opportunity to come in. Hi, Seth. Thank you, Seth. Hope you got refreshed from, you know, semi-vacation, vacation, whatever it was, none of my business. Hopefully you got time to relax. Hope you're coming back refreshed. On the business side, hi, Seth, we'll talk later. We already have. Oh, quickly, another product that Seth and the family, and I used this product way before I made the association that it was one of Seth and his family's products. It's, it had hemp oil in it before all this craze. I think they've been doing this since, like, 2003 or one. Seth will correct me on that when he gets on there. But my favorite, too, well, my favorite flavor is blueberry, but I gave that to my wife. She likes it. She loves the product. I like this cherry berry. I like anything with berry. You guys probably know that if you've heard my uh, voice over the years. Great product. Awesome. And there's another one that, um, yeah, Seth can tell us all about that and tell him. It's awesome. Okay, going back and forth all around the place here and bearing with me turning my back and all of that. Some of you know this because of my product videos and where you've come in and so on and so forth. These are products of CTFO that obviously I've had, you know, obviously I've used them. This one's an empty container. Well, okay, good. I'll take those two. The one behind me is empty. These are the gummies. These are the gummies. Sorry. And I don't know right off the top of my head because I forget everything. I think I've used like eight of their products. And I'm not sure I have all eight right here. These are the wellness capsules. That is an empty bottle. I, I expired that. Um, what else have I got here? Hold on. I'm blind. Deaf, dumb, and blind kid. <laughs> oh, I'm there. Okay, peppermint flavor drops, 300 milligram. I've, I've used those. I upstepped up with no reflection on this product for my arthritis, and I tried that. You know, I tried this. Great product. The 10X is just in a class in and of itself, obviously, so for anybody, just go to that free webinar video in my humble opinion, and just watch it because you watched it just like you would watch anything, and, you know, good, bad, and different, or whatever, nobody's going to, well, I'll know that you watched it because it's a lead generation thing, and I already told you how I approach those type of things. We all do things differently. If we all get to the end result, who cares? has always been my philosophy. I knock no one. And, you know, I talked a lot about that and the crazy new world, and I'm trying to get used to it. And 
But it's tough because, you know, you have to be so careful what you say. So I don't think I said anything out of line. If I did, I apologize. I mean, I don't even know how to do this to some degree anymore because you have to calculate everything you say. So anyway, I am, I mean, it's in my hand. (laughs) I'm using the 10X Pure as Grandpa Bill. And, you know, I never said cure, and I never will, and I went all through that. I've never said cure in any of my products over 25 years plus of doing this in one phase or another, and certainly over 40 years of representing commodities as a whole. I've never said anything, because nothing does. I've been redundant above that myself. Nothing, anything, and all of these fine manufacturers will tell you the same thing. Nothing cures anything yet. And that's what we're all hoping for by introducing ourselves and manufacturing these products and representing them and having a tiny bit of passion about them. <clears throat> okay, what else can I show you quickly here? The Boo Boo Butter, the custom Boo Boo Butter that Kathy Donnell, Vic Cack, you guys have heard me talk about, my supplying vendor, their recipe. In and of itself, Kathy's another world-renowned dog. She knows everything about it. These people have been so kind to me as a small proprietor. But I would have to think, and they're they're not, listen again to to what I'm saying. I'm uh, selling my custom version of their recipe with my recipes that they obviously infuse, including the CBD oil. But they... They are not marketing it or selling it. They've got enough of their great, fine, original recipe products. Kathy and I are all good on that, and Ashley, but you need to understand that. Now, most certainly, if you called them up and, you know, she said, you know, can I, I can't remember Bill's address or whatever, you know, can I place an order for them? Well, they'll let me know that, of course. And then under that premise, I just want to make that line of distinction because they're busy, busy, and they don't ship that out. So through all of that, if you place the order, just have kind of that understanding. So thus, it would be much more expeditious, easier, and it's kind of why I dedicated a website to my granddaughter for it without being a wise guy. I mean, that's kind of the premise of it all. So... The boo-boo butter has my sacred clay over here that you guys have heard me talk about. All these products are on sale at Ada's uh, website, too, by the way. So the sacred clay is part of the boo-boo butter. It's wild main blueberry powder because I use it in an ingredient broker capacity as well as taking the product. I love it in my smoothies, and I love Teresa's um, teas. I've talked about her teas. I'm a blueberry freak. It's, I mean, any kind of a berry freak, it, it works. But blueberry happens to be right up there for me. And, well, I don't know. Blackberry, if I had to pick, it's probably my favorite, favorite. But who cares? But they're all good for you. And Teresa's teas and so forth are as well. So the sacred clay, uh, yeah, is in the boo-boo powder. And then what we found about, I talked about that, I think it was in yesterday's show, in the second generation of these uh, animal products, in the interim, the in- industry found out, Michael King found out, I found out, we discovered that the Aquaterra clay actually has a better skin application even over and above the sacred clay, which is obviously excellent. And then to flip that over, we found that the sacred clay is a knockout thing. You just heard Trina comp- compliment that part about the immune power and the pulling power. And again, that's why she has a different variation of clay to begin with in her products. You heard her say that. You heard me say that's how we got introduced. I mean, I knew she would have an affinity for the products. Whether we ever do business on them or not, this is why I went to somebody with no reflection on anybody else, but know where they speak and have substantial input and industry experience to back what they say. That only helps me. So, uh, you know, to some degree, I was being self-serving, and please understand, and so does Trina. She understands it fully. Not self-serving that I use somebody. It's business. We re- but we both passionately believe in each other's 
products. Obviously, we have the history. So it wasn't a five-minute setup and, you know, you say this and I'll say that. I just want to establish that because there's all kinds of crazy outlooks out there. I, I You know, that's, that's all I want to say. This is as real as I'll ever get. You know, it's the best I can do for you guys. But sometimes I walk away scratching my head when you guys come up with these things. But I'll be okay. So, you heard Trina talk about her own product again. And I'm co-promoting her product. And I will co-promote her product forever. I believe in the end result. So, again, no aspersions on anybody. But I've never got hung up on competition or, oh my God, you can't talk about them, well, yes, I can, because I've had a very long career with success ratio by doing so. We all do things differently. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. But you should all discover your way, in my humble opinion. I believe in relationship building. It's all I know. And at this crony old age and whatever, and I'm semi-retired, and you guys are probably are getting sick of hearing that. But, you know, that's how I operate. And I have long-standing relationships with these people. They're starting to attest to that. Michael King, he's been on the show recently. He was on the show several times years ago. I, I've told you guys I haven't done, I've done like, I've done tons of these, uh, the blog talk radio shows. And they've gone under the radar and all of that for a number of reasons. And I also self-edit them quite often and delete them. But you can always go to the Wayback Machine and all of that kind of stuff. I've seriously been doing the blog talk show since like 2013, and they have to be in excess of 300 of them. So, you know, it's not my forte and all of that, but I've always believed in the products I've represented, and all of them have been good over the years. I'm selective about whom and what I affiliate with, too, because all I've got is my reputation, and my reputation in the business is pretty good, you know. If you go down to Jimmy's Pool Hall, wherever you may be, yeah, you know, you might hear some stories about me from a former life. I'm teasing, I'm teasing. But in the business world, for a little guy and all that kind of stuff, my rating and reputation and all that crazy stuff is pretty good. So let's get by all that crazy stuff. All right, this is my bladder rack kelp powder that's also on sale. <coughs> Pardon me. I think I just ran out of my rock weed without looking right behind me in the warehouse. I just filled in the water. But, um, you know, we're still a few months away from August, and if you keep opening the door, you realize how far we are away. I'm just teasing. Temperature-wise, we still haven't gotten here. But in August, the plant shuts down. That's still X number of months away. So those of you that, you know, do buy my product with some degree of regularity, and especially in my ingredient capacity broker thing. Michael King and I will be talking about that plenty of time. It's just a heads up as inventories expire within companies. No one can foresee that. They may run out on May 3rd, June 30th, you know, whatever. You pick a date. It's an appreciation to know and be reminded that the plant shuts down, and they don't open up until after Labor Day, I think. So... Um, I sell it and represent it and all of that, but I can't dive in the ocean and harvest it for you and grind it up. Uh, again, I'm teasing. Okay, so I think that's enough for right now. These are obviously my cases of tourmaline water, and already I've been fortunate enough to get a few in a few people's hands, and we're working on some things, and I've got a deal with a couple of friends. They've already given us a testimonial, and they're helping me out, and they love the water, and I told a funny story. It's, it, as Seth knows, obviously, and has said himself, we're pretty available in the local area with the stores and what have you, especially um, Whole Foods right here in Portland being one of them. So long story short, the Two kids involved. Again, everybody's a kid. In this two cases, they're young kids. I mean, I'm 65. I could be their grandfather. <laughs> I'm everybody's grandfather. But they're young people. It's, I don't mean that disrespectful. They're young people. So I love to help out everybody, but especially younger people starting out. And I know a little something about their situations. And, you know, they're less than happy with wherever they may work and all that kind of stuff. And... That's kind of the common thing in most instances out there today. And that's 
you know, how it all ties in all the stress and anxiety and all that crazy stuff. So, in any event, the funny story was, and it is, if you haven't heard it yet, is I don't know how many I gave him. Who cares? We'll say it was 12. I think it was. But, um, you know, when they got him home to do so, because they work around the clock, sound familiar? <laughs> when they got home to do it or whatever and do their respective workouts or gym thing or whatever they do in their personal life, I didn't get to that level. But I think it was the gym or whatever. As one was going to go do their exercise routine, I probably got it all backwards. Anyway, and they said I could use their name. Kendra and Gino. Gino, I guess, drank the lion's share. Of, we'll say it was 12 bottles, whatever it was, with my crazy old memory. So Kendra specifically told me that she only got one of them. And it was funny because she knows me at a different level. I happened to, you know, work with her in a form of life as well a little bit so she knows that I'm deaf everybody does so I got that wrong of course what she first said because I thought she said well Gino was pissed so bear with me so I said can I ask you what would he be pissed about I mean anyway I was totally wrong didn't hear it correctly <laughs> she said well I was pissed at him me jokingly jokingly because he took all the water or basically left her none. So he proceeded because he liked it so much. I think it was indeed his first opportunity to try tourmaline, you know, ever. Or Summer Spring, as far as that goes. I, I don't know that either, but from what he conveyed, I'm going to guess that. Long story short, he went into, um, you know, Whole Foods and got some more. And again, as long as they're drinking water, that's why I'm happy as a clam. That's what I want people to do. If it comes from myself, well, great. But if it comes from myself, Seth, as long as it, you guys get the water, that's great. So I simply said to them, because they do live, they don't live like 55 miles from, uh, what are they going to say, Walmart, Whole Foods, sorry. But it's a tiny bit of a drive for them. And, you know, in life and, you know, eight to five, all the things you guys know, I can't get it till next Saturday or whatever, if indeed that's applicable because you have your own schedule. I simply said to them, if and when you want to buy some, if you do, if, if you do, and if it's an attractive part of it or whatever, we know the mutual point that I can deliver it to you at certainly no charge. And anyway, they like that, and, you know, I gave them a couple extra bottles for being a goodwill ambassador, and they're going to tell their moms and pops and uncles. That's the premise of the water share for the water, but that's basically the central premise of the CTFO. It's the same difference. It's just word of mouth and what you truly believe in or not. And then I just want to remind everybody, too, that there's a non-CBD line within the inventory also. Because I told you that in one of my shows. And this is all business respectfully. Nobody hates anybody and all that crazy stuff. I already told you that Michael King said he's not comfortable talking about CBD yet. Because... He wants to do more research, and you know what? I respect that highly, and I told him that. That's why he's an intuitive. I, I want everybody to be in their comfort zone. And, you know, I think that as time goes by, you know, perhaps he may align himself with a different opinion, but I get that too because there's so many of us out there and this is just a fact. I never said anything about Company B, but it's a fact. Everybody's in this. And to whatever degree that they are in it, I think that's a fair statement. There's good, there's bad, there's indifferent. Just like there's good and bad and different in anything you guys want to pick out to make the, you know, the comparison. Toast is, you pick it, you pick it, whatever. Obviously, there's good ones, bad ones, and, you know, your Aunt Louise... Listen to what I'm saying. Might have told you you should use a general electric or whatever. Well, you have that confidence factor. That doesn't mean that because Aunt Louise told you that and because she liked general electrics, you understand what I'm saying. But you may be, I don't know, more confident because it works for somebody that you love and care about or whatever. 
that you would at least try it. And then I brought the point up, if you guys are chained to your desk or whatever your personal situation is, or if you're disgruntled, or even if you're just looking for supplemental income, who can't use extra income, myself included? So it's like the best thing that I can keep repeating for myself, I'm like a guy at a turnstile. Really, I'm just saying, as you come through, I'm saying we're featuring movie A over here, and there's movie B over here without any aspersions on movie A and or B. And really, it's just that option. But it's like if somebody tells you about a book or a movie or the guy down the street that just moved in your neighborhood or whatever, unless you've had the opportunity to shake the guy down the street's hand or know them at a different level or really know about them or you've read the book, or watch the said movie, well, you might presuppose we all do that. I said I'm as guilty as anybody and probably more guilty than anybody in my capacity as a consumer. We're all victims of this hurry-up-and-go society, young, old, in-between, because it's forced us to be a victim of this hurry-up-and-go society. <coughs> Pardon me. So... You know, if you don't kind of step back and kind of take, and I'm preaching to my own choir. I'm, you know, I'm hyper and I got central nervous and all this kind of stuff. And it's why I treat all of these things and head trauma and all that crazy stuff. You know, everybody, big deal. Lots of people are going through it. That's the point. Whether it's my trauma or my kind or whatever occurred in my life, who cares? But, you know, not too long ago, I, I worked in a retirement village, and, you know, there's a majority of the people, because of the age bracket, it's like 55, there was actually people, a couple that, God love them, were over 100 years old, but the majority of them, and most of them, God love them, were veterans, who I respect highly, highly, and most of them are disabled veterans. And, you know, whatever else, the chronological ladder. And in quite candor, obviously, due to their age brackets, not being knowledgeable at this advanced age of what they ate so far, none of us were. And how the waters are polluted, it's not their fault. They unfortunately advanced on the chronological age ahead of the technology, the information, and all of that, which is still catching up with itself. So point being... I've always told my own son I fight hard not to get to that extreme. It's frightening. And I cast aspersions on none of those people. I'm just about one of them. It's not that much difference. I'm 65. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I have the natural breakdown of all that crazy stuff. But I'm fine. I told you about so far. I'm about to have my recap of the appointment in a couple of months. I don't know, five years straight, they keep asking me the questions, and I exchange the dental story on air with Trina, and she told you that she hears that from lots of people unique to her product. So I don't know what else to say. So I'm going to continue to welcome these provocative guests and, you know, the owners of the companies and the people that have all this industry experience that I've had the pleasure of being affiliated with in business over so many years. And again, I'm just the messenger. I never claim I'm not a clinician, not even close, not even remotely close. I'm basically nothing other than trying to follow a passion, trying to follow products that I personally know have high efficacy rate. I have testimonials in some instances that go back over 25 years that document that. And those are the people of their own volition that are saying that, not me, you know, bribing them or sending money in the mail or whatever goes through your guys' minds sometimes out there. It's crazy. <laughs> it really is. So soon, Seth will be on the show. Soon, Michael King will be on the show. Again, it's all coordination. They run companies and stuff. And way, way down the road, I'm hoping to get Jeffrey Lee probably solo and, you know, he's approaching retirement now and all that kind of stuff. So these things take time. And, you know, that one will...
probably be longer than sooner, but I wouldn't rule that one out. So over the next six weeks in a rough quotation fingers window of time, Kathy Donnell Vickak, also very busy. We're going to get her on the show. I talked to her quickly. I don't know. I think it was last Friday, but when, whenever. Recently. <laughs> so it carries more thunder, and I don't take any personal affront with it. I just get frustrated, you know, thinking that I'm some kind of witch doctor and I'm just up here trying to steal something from somebody because I, I don't do that. I never have and I never will. So thank you. I'm going to cut out on this one. And do listen to the shows, again, where you do come in and come out of them. Keep in mind, sometimes these videos are preceding the show as a setup. And then the opposite premise that I just did on the backside of a show, because um, this is the way that I'm going to have to um, do the business moving forward. So thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Um, I'll be taping another PM show later on the radio that will be archived, and I'll see you somewhere really soon. Have a great day, everybody. Take care, and always remember that BA Sales and Kennel Kelp and Nada's Animal Products promote good health. And all animals...